What's going on, everybody? It is your guy, the Barbecue Cop, coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a long time since you guys saw me do a little something, but I finally got a few days off, so I'm going to try to upload a few videos here. And this first one's going to be a little different. I got me a Blackstone grill, and uh, I use it quite a bit, and I thought it would be very helpful to kind of show you guys some of the stuff I do on it as well. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to get up some, uh, some barbecue stuff, but I wanted to show you this video real quick of how efficient this thing is, uh, for meal prep and even for a quick little dinner or breakfast. So as you can see here, guys, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use here. I got some, uh, chicken and steak. Those are my two favorites. Got them, had them marinating in a bag here with some Italian dressing. Got all that stuff cleaned up and put in uh, in the bag, along with some mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions. Also got some seasoned garlic butter. You can see the Great Value brand there. Got this stuff from Walmart, um, uh, as well as this infusion blends. This is a it's a sweet sweet honey. I think is the brand on that one. Is the flavor for it. But we're gonna chop all this stuff up and. Get it ready to go out on to the uh, to the Blackstone and show you guys how we put a quick meal together. Uh, I've been working a lot more on my health and I'm trying to make sure that when we start doing things that uh, that we have a healthy selection uh, as well. So I start taking and packing my lunches with me. So this is some of the stuff that I do. So we get all this stuff chopped up. I'll let you see it once I get it chopped up and get it ready to go on the Blackstone. And I'll show you the things that I do. So be back here shortly. All right, guys, here you go. This is everything cut up here. This is how we're going to do it once we get it out on the Blackstone. So I'm going to go outside, make sure it's good and cleaned up, let you get a good look at it, uh, cleaned up, and show you the process I go through when I get ready to do some of my, my meal prep stuff for going to work and just having something in general. Uh, so when I prepare this, I usually do it with either rice or some chopped up uh, potatoes uh, and a salad, something like that. And I got my water boiling on the stove down. I use a, a instant rice and we're going to go outside and get this stuff prepared. So usually it's a, uh, it's really good once you get it done. It's a good, quick, easy meal. And it's one of my go-tos that I use and eat often at work. So a lot of my Co-workers are jealous when they smell it warming up in my microwave. So um, just to, again, just to recap, we got uh, a big uh, yellow onion, uh, some yellow and red bell peppers and mushrooms. And for our protein, we got uh, some steak and we also have some chicken that has been marinated. Uh, this has been actually marinated for two days. I meant to cook it yesterday, but we're about to get it on the on the grill now. So, all right. See you guys here shortly. All right, guys, we're out here at the Blackstone and uh, getting ready to get started here. All right, first, a couple of things I want to go over with everybody. Uh, one thing that I always do before I get ready to cook every time, and you really should do it after you get done, is clean the uh, grilling surface down really well. Um, I'm certainly guilty of, you know, cooking, being ready to eat, and not cleaning it right then. When it's hot, it's certainly the best time I've seen for cleaning this thing. But uh, one thing I did want to introduce you guys to and let you see, you have to excuse how dirty this is, but um, this is one of those cleaners from Blackstone uh, that is a grill scraper. And I know mine is really dirty, and I apologize for showing it to you that way, guys, but it really does a great job at scraping these grills down. I've had uh, very little trouble since I've gotten that thing as far as, you know, getting it clean and cleaning it up. So uh, make sure you get you something that's good. I've seen a lot of, you know, people try a lot of different things and that has certainly been the best for me. It's got a good strong handle on it. The cleaning, the scraper is really strong and you can really clean it. It's really made for Blackstone. So uh, they're in Walmart, 14, 15 bucks, I think is what I paid for it, but it is well worth the uh, the money for it. So a couple of things here, uh, you can see I got grapeseed oil uh, and I also got a spatula and a really sharp knife. Uh, those are things that I always recommend having at your disposal when you get ready to start cooking on this thing. Um, I like to cook on a higher heat, especially starting out to uh, get a good sear on the vegetables and to drain some of that water off. 
I don't use a lot of salt when I cook. I'm just not a big salt guy, uh, you know, but salt does help a little bit when it comes to, you know, drawing that water and moisture out of your vegetables when you start to saute them on this thing. So um, I usually like to start with the veggies, let them get in and kind of soften them up some and then bring the meat afterwards and kind of push the, you know, the veggies over to the side. And then towards the end, either mix them all up together and let it cook together some or just separate them out so I can just pull what I want to make a smaller meal if I want to do that. A um, couple of modifications that I did on my Blackstone. You guys know if you follow me on the Barbecue Cop, you know, I always like to change things up. So these things come with a very little small tank uh, that connects at this fitting right here. And um, I decided to change that on mine. I wanted to get something, a, a bigger tank. So I went to, I uh, actually had a good friend of mine uh, that told me about an extension that I found on Amazon. So I got that extension and it runs down to a bigger tank that I have here. Uh, and that really works out a lot better than the little small tanks that you have where you have to keep refilling them uh, because they don't last very long. So we're gonna get some grapeseed oil down. We're gonna get this thing heated up. And as soon as we get it heated up, we'll come back when we get the vegetables on and show you how I saute and season them. And then we'll bring the meat out and put it all together. All right, guys, we got the veggies down. <clears throat> got everything uh, going here. You see we got the grill pretty smoking hot. It's got a little flame coming up off of it. And I usually let them sit for a few minutes. Let, let them sweat just a little bit. And then we're going to add a few ingredients to them. Um, I usually like to do garlic salt, uh, a little Italian seasoning, oregano. Just, you know, whatever season you like on your vegetables, if you like them. Some people like them, some people don't. I tend to. Uh, but I'm going to season them down here in just a minute to start stirring it up and kind of let you see what it looks like. In just a few minutes, we'll be bringing the meat out. Okay, I really wish you guys could smell this now. It really smells amazing. It's just the veggies going down. So, we're going to let this cook down. I always like to chop my onions down a little bit. Keep it going. The grapeseed oil is doing great by not burning. What's going on here? Smells delicious. We're going to mix it up here and just keep it going, guys. And you'll see once you get done with all of this, it's a really good, quick, easy way to prepare you some meals uh, for the family. If you don't want to cook inside, put a little black stone up on the outside, get your food together, prepare a whole meal, or just something for an individual person. Okay? So I'm going to season it down here and uh, be back with you guys in just a few minutes. All right, guys, got the uh, steak and the chicken down. I pulled the veggies off and put them in a little bowl over here to let them kind of chill out for a few minutes so they won't be overdone. And I'm going to let this chicken and steak kind of work in together. As soon as we get it uh, done, we're going to flip it over, probably chop it up into some pieces and mix it all together and show you guys what it looks like once it's all done. Uh, again, guys, this is a very quick and easy little thing to put together one evening, uh, you come in, like your, your meat marinates and you can have some flavor in it. Or if you got some of that quick infusion, or you, you can actually inject some flavor into it if you got a syringe. Um, but this smells amazing. I really wish you guys could smell this. I'm really ready to put it all together and let you guys see it. So uh, we're gonna let this continue to cook down as it gets more towards done. I'll uh, flip the camera back on, let you guys check it out and see what uh, everything looks like. Um, the chicken breast is thinly cut. It cooks better, uh, I've seen on these smaller grills that way. So I buy it that way at Walmart where it's already thinly cut, so I don't have to do that. But of course, you can buy it thick and slice it as thick or as thin as you like it. The uh, strips that are here, the steak strips are, uh, they call them hibachi, uh, stir fry. It's maybe how it may be labeled. I got that from Walmart as well. So we're just going to let it continue to cook down, and um, I'll keep you guys updated as we make it through the process. All right, guys, got the meat probed. The chicken topped out at 165, 170 degrees, so we know it's done. So got it cut up, add it back into the mix, and you can see how delicious this looks. Can't wait to get into this, guys. <clears throat> I'm just going to mix it all up real good, let all the flavors meld and gel together. The rice is done on the inside. Um, 
if I get it off and let it all work together here, uh, I'm going to plate this thing up and get ready to have me a little something to eat. Again, guys, uh, then clean this thing down. You want all those flavors from, uh, from the bottom of this thing to meld in and to mix. And I'm telling you guys, this, oh my goodness, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. So, if you're thinking about, I've been on the fence about giving you a black stone. I'm telling you guys, it is well worth it. You find a deal on one somewhere, certainly get it. I didn't use mine a lot when I first got it, but when I started seeing some of the recipes and some of the other things that were available, guys, I'm telling you, I've been a fan ever since. From my personal Facebook page, I'll post stuff and always get crazy reviews. Everybody wants some. So I'm telling you, get you a Blackstone, guys, if you don't have one. Certainly a great little quick thing that you can do yeah, to take care of your family cook real easy and one of the best parts about it is you don't feel like cleaning up afterwards <laughs> in most instances you don't have to your wife may not be on you because the dishes aren't in her face as long as your black stone is somewhere else out of her way you probably won't have uh, too many issues so here it is kind of spread out just to let you guys get a good look at it before I pull it again that's bell peppers onions, mushrooms chicken and steak. So now here's a little more flavor here, a little um, a little maybe sweet and sour or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. Got some inside, but that's a good look at it there. Alright? Gonna see how it looks all put together here shortly. Alright guys and here you go. This is the finished product. This is the rice we made and again that was just some instant rice. All I had to do was boil some water throw the packs in and wait for it to get done. I think it's about 14 minutes or so for that. That did itself. I did mix it with a little bit of that uh, butter, the garlic butter in the rice. So uh, that gave it a really good flavor along with some fresh cracked pepper. And that is the stir fry. You can see everything turned out really, really well. About to plate this thing up, grab me something to eat so we can move on to the next project. So. Uh, real quick easy meal guys something you can do very quickly on the outside and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and the barbecue cop is out thanks